Yes, today we are at Dubai Intercept Show to showcase Linjet latest technology products on the smart wireless monitoring and control systems. Um, how the whole system works, basically we have a mesh network, connect all the knobs together, okay, then using Bluetooth technology on the 2x4 bandwidth to transmit all the signal from the knob back to the system gateway and back to the server. So for me, I go in to, to share with you about this uh, fire and safety knobs. First, we have these fire extinguisher knobs. Okay. What we do about these fire extinguisher knobs that they are capable to detect okay, the status of the fire extinguisher. Okay. First sensor will be ultrasonic sensor where you can see the moment that is being brought, okay, the light will be there will be alarm going off. And this will send back to the user to notify that. Okay. When I take my hand off, sensor will be off within 10 seconds. Moving on. Okay, let's let it go off first. And moving on, the missing of extinguisher. So imagine extinguisher has been taken away. Immediately. Same thing within 10 seconds, the alarm will go off and signal will be sent back okay. <coughs> to the user. So I put it back. Okay. Sensor will be back again. Right. Alarm cut off. And with this technology and AI engine behind, we are even capable to know for pressure leakage. Okay. I'll show you. See, sensor will can't turn off when the pressure leak. Moving on from this fire extinguisher knob, we have this emergency door knobs. Emergency door knobs is also act as a fire door. So that's why normally it has to be closed. Oh, the knob will monitor the status of the door. Assuming that it's been opened. <laughs> Same thing within 10 seconds. And the knob will send back a signal to say that it's being opened and then you have to close it back. Uh, then the signal will go off. So as this is an escape route, a very critical component during emergency, we also make sure that nothing is blocked the fire escape door. If something was being blocked, It will also activate the knob to tell you that you have to remove it quickly for safety reasons. Okay. Moving forward, we have this emergency exit light testing knobs. Okay. This one can because on all these emergency lighting, emergency light and exit light, okay, is a regular practice that you have to maintain it regularly. And to maintain this is always a challenge for the user as well as the service guy. Therefore, we actually came up with an automatic scheduling uh, functions through the dashboard. If not, we can use, use an ad hoc basis to do it. I will show you now. Okay. You just have to choose the correct sensor to activate. You do a manual trigger. Okay. Then you look at the bus. This will then send signal back right, to the gateway. Gateway then will send to the emergency knobs to activate the knobs. Okay. You can see the light goes on and off. Okay, and with a, a light intensity sensor, this information will then send back to the system to tell you whether is it in working condition. Okay, here behind me you have seen all these six emergency light, which is a automatic sensing scheduling of the testing of the light. Okay, and with this setup, you basically cut down on all the manual manpower to do all the uh, actual testing on site. Okay. 
moving on from the fire and safety verticals, we now move into the environmental sector. Okay. First one is the basic temperature and humidity knob. Okay. This knob can be used for everywhere. It can be in your meeting room, conference room, okay, even at this exhibition hall. Okay. Anywhere that you want to, to control, to know the temperature and humidity. In fact, certain sensitive rooms that if you want to know the humidity, you can also use it. Okay. And if it's a more challenging place like a workshop or factories where environmental health condition is even more important, right? you can use a indoor air quality knobs that will give you more parameters. CO2, CH2O, VOC, PM2.5, PM10, temperature and humidities. Okay. So this will give you a very good insight on the working conditions okay, in the factories. These two basically monitors the environmental parameter and send back to you. Okay? So what we have created here is a relay knob. Okay? Not just taking info, but now we are also capable to, morning, uh, to control uh, electrical equipment. Okay? From here, you can see all wireless. We link these two together. We use a proximity sensor for now as a cause to activate the relay. So now, proximity sensor is activated. Same thing in this, uh, what you call mesh network. Data will, uh, the signal will be sent back to the gateway, gateway to the server. Server will then know that they need to activate the fan through the gateway and back to the relay knob. That's where you can see now the fan is moving. Okay. Huh? So you can easily cut them off by removing. With this, I summarize up our smart wireless monitoring control system. It acts like a wireless BMS system. You can use it in the whole facilities in different different verticals. All depends on how you want to use it. Right. But of course, the critical one will be the fire and safety, especially extinguisher, fire door, and all the emergency equipments. Yeah. And the rest, okay, you can use it for temperature control, right? electrical control, uh, air cooler, whatever stuff that you think that you want to have a remote monitoring and control. Thank you.